On the right side, you can see three icons. The top icon represents the auto button. Selecting this icon will set the unit into auto mode, and the range and pulse width options will be disabled. It is important to inspect and clean your fibers, then plug in the fiber, and press start to run a test. The second button is the real-time mode. When the real-time mode is selected, rather than having a single start button for acquisition, it is separated into two buttons, a real-time test and an average test. This gives the capability to either test with real-time mode or using a conventional timed test. And then, the third button opens the extended acquisition parameters. Here, you can enter the lengths of any launch or receive fibers. Additionally, in the advanced parameters, you can adjust some of the settings. For example, you can choose whether or not to perform a first connector check and whether or not to stay in full auto mode. Back to the main screen, when the full auto mode is selected, this locks the device, and the optical parameters are read-only. When this option is unselected, the other acquisition modes can be used. In the advanced parameters, if you select use the optimized range while using auto mode, it automatically inserts an optimized range based on the last test done. The other parameters below apply settings by wavelength, this refers to the settings that are applied and disconnected. If you choose this option, you can see that these two wavelengths are utilizing the same settings. However, if you choose to modify one and then switch to the other, they no longer remain synchronized as they have been decoupled. Therefore, if you wish to decouple these wavelengths collectively instead of individually, it is possible to do so. The high resolution acquisition parameter allows you to add more data points when testing. You will then be able to maintain higher resolution at longer distances. Then finally, on the right side of the screen, there are the customized parameters regarding the range and duration. Custom configuration can be added by selecting an existing value and replacing it with the new value to optimize the testing. This can be particularly useful for short distances to adjust the range and viewing options. The revert to factory settings button can be used to reset all these options.